Hi everyone, um, my name is Priscilla and I'm going to show you today how to make a trellis doily. So, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Um, right here, it's a different type of purple and over here it's a lighter purple. So, I'm going to show you also how to transition into two colors. So, this is how the trellis doily looks and it's really easy to make. And for this project you will need a size F crochet hook. I, I use an F and I found this yarn well it's kind of yarn it's kind of string it's like let's see it's thicker than string but it's thinner than yarn so I don't know what to call it but it's really good and makes the pattern look really really nice so I'm sorry if the lighting is bad this is my first video so I'll help you um, if you have any questions just put in any comments below and I'll help you out as much as I can so we're gonna start today by doing five chains. So let's take that out. So you're going to start out with five chains that I already made. Then what you're going to do is that you're going to make a slip stitch to form a ring. So you go to the last stitch and you put your hook through and then you loop with, with the string. I'm just going to call it string. So you loop with the string and bring it through the hole. So you should have two hooks, I mean two loops. And then with that one loop right there, that little one, you're going to bring it through and make it into one. Now I'm just going to cut off this tail over here. I know you're probably not supposed to do this, but I, I just always do this because it's just annoying. So there it goes. Okay. So you're left with a little circle. Now in the middle of that circle there should be a hole a little donut right there you know right somewhere there so that's where you're gonna really be working so what you're gonna do is you're gonna chain three one two three sorry if I'm a little shaky it's just my first video so I apologize for any inconveniences so after you chain three you're gonna double crochet nineteen times into the middle over here now, just hold on, let me just fix the lighting so it's a little bit brighter. Okay. So, to double crochet, what you're going to do, ooh, okay, what you're going to do is that you're going to take your hook, and then you're going to go over like this once. Then with that little once hook, you're going to go into the very middle, that little hole where I showed you. Now you're going to go in here, so then your hook is on the other side. And then you're going to, let's see, just adjusting the camera. You're going to take this little hook, the string I meant. You're going to take the string, then you're going to take it and bring it through the hook. So you should have three loops on your hook right now. Once you have three loops, you're going to loop over with your hook again. So that it looks like you have four. So with that little fourth one, semi fourth one because it's just looped around you're going to go through your hook you're going to go through two and then you should have, remain with two but those other two you're going to do the same exact thing you go, th go through both of them come on you're going to go through both of them and then you end up with one it's a little confusing if this one is confusing to you you can go to just type in double crochet in the YouTube bar and then there will be many videos to show you how to do it so as you can see we already have two of them this chain three will uh, count as a double crochet so then I already did one so I have 18 more to go so I'm just gonna do that and then once you're done just come back here and then watch what I'm gonna do Four, five, six, seven. Now, hold on. 
Now you can see it's getting a little full already. So what you're going to do is that you could just move it over. Just like take those little ones and then you have to kind of put some force so then it will make more room. So I'm all, all yeah, let's see, I did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have to make 19, so I have a lot more. So you go through again, go through the hole, pick it up, go through two, go through two. That's my eighth. Nine. Sorry if I go off camera. Ten. Eleven. If I keep pausing, it's because I have to pull the string in order to get more. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Just gonna count how many just in case if I actually do have sixteen. Okay, so one, two, oh, you could count these by I don't know if you could see it really well on the camera, but like you could see them on the top. They look like chains pretty much, so it'll be one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I need to do 5 more. In a total of 20. 16. 17. Come on. 18. Where am I? Sorry. I know I went off the camera. Okay. 18. 19. And last one. 20. Okay, so. Sorry, it's just a string. Okay. So I know in the beginning I said we have to do 19, and the total has to be 20. So th um, I say 19 because when you did that chain 3 at the very beginning, that is going to count as your first double crochet. And then you would do 19 more, so 19 plus 1 is 20. So now you should end up with 20. So once you get something looking like this, what you're going to do is that you're going to go into that chain 3, the very top one, and you're going to slip stitch. So, again, you have to go through here, loop it up, and then you should have two. Then with that first one, you're going to go through and then make it together. And then, there you go. So that's the first step. Okay. So once you get this nice looking circle over here, you're going to chain four for the next part. Three, four. So this is going to be round two. Okay, so what are you go what you're going to do over here is that in each chain you're going to double crochet once and then chain one. So you're going to loop. You're going to go into the chain and then get out. You know, just a regular double crochet. But then after each of these, you're going to chain one like this okay so you're gonna do that all the way around until you get to the very beginning part again <coughs> okay sorry kind of sick okay anyway so we're gonna continue I'm gonna double crochet all around and you chain one after each one it's a very easy thing to do. I 
thing I did crochet for about maybe two years. I'm 14 years old and it's really easy. So, not the best, but just the basics. I'm sorry if I keep going off camera. I promise after, during the next couple videos, if I decide to make them, I will get better lighting, better cameras. Well, this is just my eye touch, so. Okay, I'm just going to stop talking and just keep going. So, okay, that was a chain one. Now I double crochet. So it just started looking like that, you know, just like little spaces in the middle. Keep double crocheting once in each chain, and then chain one. I like this string yarn thing. It's really pretty, and it's really thin, like string, so then it will get the same effect. I just got this from the 99 cent store near me. Sadly, they didn't have any actual string, but then I saw this, so I decided to take it. Double crochet. In each stitch once, chain one. Almost done, almost there. Just a couple more. Two more. And then the last one. Pretty sure that will bring you to 20 of them. And even at the last one, you double crochet and chain one. <laughs> so, what you're gonna do is that you're gonna close this circle up. You're gonna chain, you're gonna slip stitch at the very top over here, right there. So, what you're gonna do, you're gonna go through, go slip stitch, bring it through, and join it to make this circle. So, you should be up to here right now. <laughs> Okay, sorry if I keep pausing. I keep looking at the written instructions. I will post it in the description. So, let's see. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so this is round three, so we're gonna, we slip stitch. Now we're gonna chain one. And then we're gonna single crochet in the ch same chain spaces. So then, what we're gonna, oh, okay. So then what we're gonna do is that we're gonna chain one which we did, and then we're going to right in the middle of these, you see it from the chain ones from the previous round there's like these little spaces in the middle like here, 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 you know, over there so what we're going to do is that we're going to go into the first one which is right here this one and we're going to single crochet so to single crochet you have to go through that hole loop it up bring it back so you should have two on your hook then you're going to loop again then bring it through both and that's your single crochet now what you're going to do, it might get a little crowded in this round but at the end it will be very very nice so okay so what you're going to do is that you're going to chain 10 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. Then you're going to single crochet. Oops. Okay. So in the next space, you're going to single crochet right there. 